Undoubtedly, there were many examples of heroism in the Second World War. One of them was Ramon S. Subejano, a merchant mariner after Subejano smuggled into the United States from the Philippines in 1927. He later bought a pool hall with his casino winnings. He lost it during the Great Depression and worked as a busboy until his enlistment in 1942. PVT Ramon S. Subayano served in Company A, 358th Infantry Regiment, 90th Infantry Division, and fought in the Normandy Coast, the Ardennes, Northern France, the Netherlands, and the Rhineland. He was a scout sniper and was wounded several times. He won 17 medals during the war, and these medals are associated with the killing of more than 400 Germans in the war. He was the only survivor of his unit during the war. One of the medals was the Silver Star for Courage in Action near Dillingen, Germany, on December 7, 1944. Subayano risked his life and advanced towards the building with devastating 20 mm machine gun fire and grenade explosions. He then entered the strong point and went from room to room killing five people. The enemy wounded six and the rest. He forced 37 men to surrender. At the end of the war, he was flown to London for a victory parade, where he was presented to King George and Sir Winston Churchill. Ramon S. Subayano was featured in the front page of the New York Times on May 31, 1952, during the city's observance of Memorial Day. His picture appeared in the A Salute to War Dead from a Decorated Hero, wearing his full-dress army uniform complete with medals and ribbons he earned in the European and Pacific theaters rendering a salute in front of the soldiers and sailors. In 1987, while living in the neighborhood of Brighton in the city of Boston, he was charged threatening to harm his apartment manager. Less than a year later, he would die in a veteran affairs hospital in New York City. Subayano is buried at Arlington National Cemetery.